percent and Joe Grandinet with two percent. Now Brad Zahn got the most votes of the night, but again, it wasn't enough. As he mingled with his supporters throughout the night, he remained optimistic. In his final speech, he said he plans to win at the special convention. We're going to go to convention. I'm going to have a, a, a spend a lot of time with all those delegates, and I'm going to do a lot of follow-up calls. And we're going to talk about my message. And we're going to talk about that I'm battle-tested. That is why I won tonight. The Republican Party will set a date for the special 3rd District Convention. It will most likely happen soon after the state convention, set for June 14th. Now, Grimes businessman Robert Kramer says he's already prepared for the convention. He says he's been running a, quote, dual campaign all along, so he could win over not only voters, but also some delegates as well. Kramer and his campaign staff say they were very pleased to come in second place at the polls. Going forward, he plans to use a similar strategy to that of retiring Congressman Tom Latham, who won the seat back in 2012. Build on that foundation and, and even take off from there by being the guy who can also be one who can persuade the public to our conservative values. We've got the right answers. We just have to be persuasive and uh, let the public know about it. Well, Iowa Secretary of State Matt Schultz says he'll win the nomination by doing what he's already been doing. Volunteers watch the returns all night at his campaign headquarters in Irvindale. Schultz says he'll continue with the same game plan he says won him the Secretary of State election. We have a strong grassroots campaign, and this is the kind of campaign that I look forward to going to a convention. I think the people, the delegates, they know me. They know what I stand for. I'm a fighter, and I'm looking forward to having that conversation. Shaw failed to finish in the top of a crowded primary, but says the real race starts now. Shaw has been elected to three state Republican Party positions. He says delegation voters are familiar with his platform, and the race is wide open. Trust me, folks, whoever the GOP nominee is in this race, they are going to be scrutinized in November. And so we need to do it now. We need to be scrutinized now so that we can put forward the strongest possible candidate in November. And I'm going to make the case to the delegates that that's me. Van Meter native David Young finished toward the back of the pack. The man who served as Senator Charles Grassley's chief of staff in the past says his focus is now shifting to the convention delegates. Young says he's been working on a strategy for the situation for some time now. And now that the primary is going to extra innings, so to speak, he says he is ready. You know, you have to appeal to them, and you have to appeal to them in an honest way and be an honest broker and, and uh, let them know that you're serious and that you can win this in the end against Stacey Apple.